You have got to be absolutely joking with me right now. You have totally ensnared my older brother in your wicked claws, haven't you? What in the name of all that is holy do you think you are doing? Huh? Elsie, what on earth are you blabbering about? I have no idea what you're saying, to be perfectly honest. I went through all the hassle and trouble to go over to my brother's house and spend some quality time with him, and then I see my brother slaving away in the kitchen? That is not his duty to do that. You should be the one who prepares and cooks the food for the household. You are the one who is supposed to be his wife, not my brother. Stop making him do things that he has no business doing. Um, okay. First of all, he's the master of the household and he does whatever he pleases to help out. He's actually very skilled at cooking, so he enjoys making dinner for us. And he chose to take in that responsibility as his job allows him to work from the comfort of his home. Are you kidding me? That is not how it should work. Just because he works from home does not mean he has all of the time in the world, right? Does it not make a difference if you work at home or in the office? He still works hard and should not have to lift a finger for any housework. In fact, it is quite challenging to switch from an office job to also doing housework. You should be the one taking care of the house. Yeah, you've made your point, Elsie. I get what you mean, but it is a long and tiring commute. It would be more practical if Maurice did all the housework, as he is around more often. Instead of doing that, I pay for all the living and food expenses. I don't understand why you're always attacking me. You have some kind of grudge against me, obviously. Let's just show your beef with me. It was ranked top of the charts. And of course, it's delicious to have. You are just such a comedian, aren't you, Nancy? Thinking that you can mock me? So what? You are only just going to go overboard with all of the living expenses. So my brother is left with nothing. My brother really wasted his life by marrying such an old witch like you. I guess it is just a normal thing for you. Only partying out for the living expenses, isn't it? What are you even talking about? Since I'm coming over, it is only natural for you to gorge yourself with food. Of course, I am your husband's sister after all. It is fine to be nervous, but it is just basic manners to treat me with some respect though. Me treating you with some respect? Are you kidding me? You do realize that you just called me an old witch before. I do not see what is so wrong with calling an old woman an old witch. You are just about six years older than my brother after all. So the old witch and my brother did tie the knot, you see. I would not get too carried away with expecting much support. As a wife, you are responsible for all of the living expenses and the housework. Are you serious? You think I'm going to shoulder all the responsibilities by myself? But you are completely making a fool out of my brother. You do realize that, right? For today's meal, we will have my brother cooking the meat. All right, you will just grin and bear it and eat the meat like you are supposed to. It is not always like this, okay? It is just a rare occasion for him to cook for everyone. But, well, it is almost always like this, though. He is the one who cooks. I want us to eat fresh and hot food, and so it is important to sit down and eat first. Are you kidding me? It is always like this at your house. If that is the case, then I'm going to be checking on you every single day until things change. I will keep a watchful eye on you so that you are not exploiting my brother for everything. It is not fair to him. Wait, what? You're going to keep an eye on me? Don't you think that is too much? No way. It's absolutely necessary. From now on, I'm going to show up at your house every single day and eat dinner until I see some improvement. My brother is never ever going to make dinner again, as it's not his job. You are going to be the one cooking for my brother, and me as well. You're to stay and wait in the kitchen until we finish devouring every last bit of our meals. I plan to teach you the proper way to be a wife, since you clearly have no clue how. But that's just impossible. No matter how quickly I try and leave work, I'm never home before 8 o'clock in the evening. And you're telling me that I'm the one who should be cooking every single meal? Well, all you've got to do is try harder at being a good and loyal wife and make food for my brother. At least try and be home around 5 so you can cook food. If you're any kind of wife, your family should be more important than the work you are doing. 
but my work isn't going to let me come home early and they know Maurice is at home to do things for me. I don't care. Be a respectable wife for my brother. When I'm done with my college classes for the day, I'll head straight over to your place. In addition, I'll be making sure that you're doing the cleaning and laundry along with the cooking. I'm going to examine you if you're really a good match for my brother. I'm going to do a comprehensive inspection of you, Nancy. Hey, Maurice, I need to have a word with you. I was wondering if you could have a chat with Elsie. It's about her showing up at her house. She needs to quit coming every single day. It's driving me crazy. I'm shocked at how much she eats and it's costing us fortune to feed her as well as ourselves. On top of that, she keeps calling me to rush home and do chores. Nancy, I'm really sorry about that. I've told her over and over again to not meddle with my marriage, but she doesn't listen. She says it's for my own benefit that she's evaluating you. That's why she's ignoring me and is telling me to stop pampering you. It's clear that Elsie has a crush on you and that's why she's always trying to insert herself into our lives. I never imagined that this would happen even after we got married. I thought I had the right to marry you because you and the rest of your family welcomed me. It seems that Elsie doesn't recognize us as being married at all. She doesn't accept that we're a couple. She told me that it's not too late to go and marry someone else. Are you serious? She said that to you? She has some nerve saying that. It seems she doesn't really understand the fact that I'm the boss of the housework. I wanted to be the boss and it works well for us. She seems to think that you wanted to marry me because you wanted to make me your maid or something absurd like that. You've got to be joking. You're my husband. I never want that for you. Honestly, I was thinking of hiring someone to do our cleaning. It must be really tough for you to balance work and the housework at the same time. No, it's not hard for me at all. I enjoy taking a break from work to do housework. It's soothing. Even though I don't earn much for us and have a lot of spare time, I don't see any reason for us to hire someone to clean our house. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. I can manage it all just fine. And if I can't, I'll let you know. What? Really? Are you sure? I really don't mind if you're having trouble with that. But if you're okay doing it, I won't. I just feel bad that I'm not doing as much as I hoped I'd be doing with becoming a freelancer. I thought I'd be swamped with actual work. I never expected my income to plummet so much. It makes me feel awful. That's why I feel like I've achieved more in the day when I've got housework to do. Please, don't take that job away from me as well. I've got this. I did notice that you were stressing out about the drop in income. I'm telling you now, I'm working as well, so you don't need to worry too much about the money you make. But it makes me feel like I'm not doing anything useful for us. Even though I'm younger than you, my income has shrunk a lot. I'm really sorry for being such a useless husband. I feel like you can't depend on me at all. It's also because of me that Elsie has misinterpreted our situation and what you do for us. I just thought that she and I would just get along. But I've just got no clue how I can do that. I guess I don't have a choice but to act more like a wife and do what she's instructed me to do if I want to get on her good side. But anything I try and do at home, I can't match your standards of cleaning, folding, and cooking. You don't have to be good at everything you try and do. I'm here to support you. Also, she's got no idea how much I earn and doesn't have a right to tell you what to do. I mean, I'm just a low-earning freelancer. Let me explain to my sister that you're the main earner and working really hard for us. Also, I should probably mention about Elsie's tuition fees. Huh? Why do we need to talk about her school fees? I feel like that's something we need to have a serious discussion about, right? Both my parents passed away at an early age. Leaving me and Elsie alone as the older brother, I should be the one to take care of Elsie's school fees. But I never expected that I'd fail so miserably at being self-employed. So I should tell Elsie the truth that it's actually you who's paying for her schooling. And maybe she'll back off from you and stop harassing you. No way. You can't tell her that, Maurice. I'm telling you now to keep that a secret to yourself at all costs. Do you understand me? But I don't get it. Why do I have to keep it a secret? If I tell her you've been paying out for it, then she'll change her view about you and see how generous and kind you are. In fact, I think you should be the one to tell her the position you're in and how hard you work for us. But I don't think it's a good idea to say anything. I'm not really paying for her tuition out of the kindness of my own heart. I just don't want you to feel bad about all the expenses you had to fork out for her and feel how bad I felt as well. Like you, I lost my parents at a young age. I had a hard time going to college without any scholarships or allowances from my parents. There are just some hardships that are better left unsaid. No one needs to know about these payments. It's like I'm paying without permission. Nancy, you've given so much to me and my sister. 
You've been more than generous. Besides, I want Elsie and I to be equals, not higher or lower than the other. Even though we are an in-laws, we're sisters as well. If there was a lot of money involved, I'd be strangely reserved and wouldn't know how to get along with them. I want Elsie and I to have a relationship without any reservations. I want a sister of my own as well. Therefore, we'll make it look like you're the one who's paying for her tuition, okay? Are you sure? If you want to do that, we can. I'm sorry. I just want everyone to get along. And maybe saying something might change her mind about you and making her more friendly. It's okay. Don't worry about it too much. Let's hope we can convince Elsie to be more friendly to me no matter what. I can't get home from work any earlier than I do now. I don't have time to make a lot of food for Elsie. It would be helpful if you took charge of the housework and the cooking. If I don't make it home in time. Of course, that's not a problem. I'll do my best to take care of all the errands. I'm also working hard in my job as well as the housework. I'll open up more businesses and get more work for myself. I'll show you someday that I'll be able to pay for my sister's tuition all by myself. I look forward to seeing how hard you work, but don't overdo it too much. I still want a functioning husband at the end of the day. Well, what did you think would happen, Nancy? I just went ahead and filed the divorce papers between you and my brother. With this happening, my brother should finally be liberated from your clutches. I won't let my brother be in love with you anymore and suffer under your tyranny. What the heck, Elsie? What? Divorce papers? What are you talking about? Don't do anything rash, Elsie. Why would you do this to me right now when things are going so well? This is all your fault, Nancy. Good thing the lock's been changed. That's why you can't get back inside the house and ruin everything. Maurice changed the lock all on his own. No matter how many times I told you to stay away, you still come by every single day. It's not like I didn't give you any clear instructions. I'm not the one who's lying through their teeth. You are the one that's been bossing my older brother around like some kind of pet. You told him not to let his troublesome sister in the house, and he was too scared not to obey. So you've just made him your puppet? If I'm there, you can't treat my brother like a housekeeper and make him do all of the chores. I don't treat him like a housekeeper in the first place, Elsie. He does it because he wants to. My brother is so kind. He has good housework skills and he is the best man. What's more, he has quit his outstanding job at a large company to be a freelancer. And this is how you treat him? An old hag like you sticks to my brother like a parasite and drains his energy. You need to release my brother and leave our family alone. So as a last resort, I filed divorce papers on your behalf and put an end to this sham of a marriage. What do you mean that I'm a parasite stuck to Maurice? That's so wrong. It's not like I'm dependent on him. We complement each other's weaknesses and get along well. Really? You think I'm going to believe any of that crap? Are you being serious right now? We all know you suck the youth out of my brother and put him to work all of the time. What do you even mean by that? You've got no idea how things are run around here. If I were my brother, I would dump you and marry a woman who is wonderful and does what my brother says. But because you're such a parasite, we can't escape you. My brother is the kindest man on this planet. I'll be the one to throw you out if my brother can't do it. But it's all okay now since I filed the divorce papers and my big brother can finally escape from his parasite of a wife. We've been unable to communicate about this issue. I can't believe this has gone so out of control because of your assumptions about me. Oh, shut up, you old hag. I don't need to hear this. You're to no longer be called my brother's wife. I'll make you disappear and never bother us again. So you don't think your brother is a parasite? Huh? What do you mean? Even though I've got a big heart, I'd be furious if someone went to file divorce without my permission. When things like this happen, I've got no choice but to tell you everything that's going on. What the heck are you talking about? What do you mean by everything? I mean, I'm not the one who's treating my older brother like a parasite. That would be you. But now he's able to live off the money I make. I'm not the one who's a parasite, Elsie. What? I don't get what you mean. I'm sure Maurice could have married a more beautiful woman that obeys him. 
Of course, to a girl who's younger and prettier than me. But now he can't live without me in his life. That's why he can't marry another woman. Even if he really tried to not love me, I do wonder what to call this situation if I'm not the parasite here. Well, okay, just hang on a minute, okay? What's wrong with my brother living off of your earnings? My brother is a successful freelancer. You both earn a lot of money. He's made a lot of money by starting his own company and leaving his other job. I'm sure that income is more than double what it used to be. He's using my money because his freelancing job isn't going so well at all. He's earning half the income that he earned at his previous job that he quit. He's more dependent on me now to earn money for the family and pay the bills. What? That can't be true. How can he be dependent on you for money? It's true, Elsie. He told me that work is harder to come by than he expected it to be when he started freelancing. He's doing his best in sales and marketing. But don't you think he's too kind and generous? That's why he gets haggled by only paying the lowest price for his services, so it doesn't lead well into the next job he does or get him any referrals. To be honest, his income hasn't increased at all since he became a freelancer. Are you for real? He's earning pennies for all of his hard work and effort? This isn't fair to him at all. That's why he can't live without me and my income because I poured out a lot of money for us and our lifestyle. I pay for all the living expenses and taxes that we owe. Sometimes I even help him when he gets into debt or takes too much from his overdraft and can't pay it back. But my brother's the one paying for my school tuition since my parents are no longer around. He's taken over in their place. He's been paying for my fees for quite a long time now. It's impossible for my brother to have such a small income and still pay my fees. That's right. I didn't have enough money to pay for your schooling. So she's been the one helping pay for you and your education. Actually, she paid for all of your tuition and books. Wait, you're the one who's been paying my fees? Wait a minute, is that you, Maurice? And yet, what did you do for me? Elsie, I can't believe that you filed a divorce between Selena and I without telling us or asking for our consent. Did we even ask you to do that at all? Did I ask you to release me from this family and this marriage? Why would you do such a selfish and cruel thing to someone who's been trying to help you and support you? I've only been thinking about what's best for you, my brother. I've only been used to you being in my grasp and listening to me, but not another woman's. Even though she's your wife, she's making you do almost everything at home and leaving it all up to you. That's not your job. It's a woman's job. I definitely thought he was suffering under your command and control. And whose idea was it that the housework should be done by the wife? Your ideology is so archaic and outdated, Elsie. You're just a student. So why are you being so stubborn and acting like this toward me and my wife? I'm just looking out for my brother and his happiness. Are you really not the one paying for my schooling? Is it actually her who's been paying for me? Yes, she's been paying for you to go to school since I failed to become more independent and successful as a freelancer. I couldn't wait to show her this side of me and how much I could earn. But she wanted to remain kind to you and tried to pay for all of your tuition by herself without telling you. Oh, is that how it went down then? What's more, I ask you to think about my feelings in all of this and respect my marriage. This is what you do to me? She's a lovely and kind-hearted person. I've been very lucky to have married a woman like her. But because of you, it's completely ruined and damaged. How on earth will you take responsibility for this mess? Oh, what? I don't know how. I was just trying to protect you from her and her influence. I never thought something like this would happen and backfire. If you don't take responsibility for what you've done, I won't bother showing your face in front of us ever again. I don't want to see your smug face in front of me or my wife. But what for? I hardly did anything wrong. It was all just a misunderstanding. That's all. You should be the one to repay back the tuition that she paid for. Whatever you do, even if it's just a loan, it will definitely be repaid. That's the least you can do for me, as I looked out for you since our parents died. Other than that, I've got no intention of having anything to do with you anymore. Now please, just wait a minute, Maurice. It sounds like you're wanting to cut me out of the family. Is that what you're saying? I'm not just wanting to do that. I'm going to do that. So we don't have you ruining anything more in our marriage. I've said this so many times already. I want nothing to do with you anymore. I tried and I tried. But I'm done. What does this mean? Don't show your face at my house ever again. 
I should have done this a while ago. Enjoy life by yourself, little sister. No, Maurice, please. You can't do this to me. You're all I've got. Don't leave me alone. I later discovered that the divorce papers were not filed properly thanks to the government's response that came in the mail. The general rule is that they don't accept submission by anyone other than the people involved in the divorce, and they need their signatures and consent. So it seems that the divorce wasn't accepted by the court and was rejected. However, Maurice has no intention of forgiving Elsie for what she'd done and how she betrayed him. From now on, it seems he'll not provide her with any assistance or support other than her school fees, which he feels obligated to pay. He's also ordered her to repay the debt for submitting divorce papers without her permission and wasting our time and money. With that, she started to work part-time at a bar to pay it off in order to not get on her brother's bad side any more than she had already done. I hear that she's working hard on her studies and paying off the money she owes him every month. The kinder people are, the more angry they get when you betray them and hurt them. Marie said that no matter what happens, he won't interact with her anymore. And that's what he'd do for the rest of his life.